Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to unlock your Bronco Sport. Customer locked their keys in their car, and we're here to unlock it. I'm gonna show you how to get it done. Okay, so you locked your keys and your Bronco and you wanna get them out, right? Here's the tools to use, right? Access tools, super air jack. This is an airbag bladder. It has a little pump on it, like so, with a little air valve right here pump that up and it fills with air and it pries the door open right I'll show you how it works in a minute and then we're gonna use access tools green reach tool this is a quarter inch metal rod coated in this fluorescent green plastic it's like a scratch guard and it has this beautiful rubber tip at the end of it so it has the ability to flip handles and things like that it gets friction inside there on armor old surfaces and it also does not crack windshields or scratch door panels or things like that so it's a great tool for that and then has this 90 degree handle here at the end of it so you can make your maneuvers you know turn it like that pull it forward and backwards things like that all right so as always i come over to the passenger side of a vehicle when i'm unlocking it um, as I mentioned before, these tools you can get from Access Tools, um, but if you're doing this yourself at home and you're trying to save some money, you can go to Home Depot and get an airbag similar to this in the door and window aisle. Uh, they're used to jack up doors and windows and things like that. Those at Home Depot, actually, the bladders are rubber. They're not made out of this Kevlar, so they're not as good for sliding through door frames like this, but they will work in a, in a pinch. So um, because this door has this plastic uh, piece on here, we're going to go on the top of the door to unlock it. So I'm going to stick my airbag in that way. We'll just kind of get all the air out of the bag. Alright, so we'll just get all the air out of the bag and then get it in behind the weather stripping like so. Push it through the door. Be careful with your fingertips not to scratch the paint. And just work that all the way through. Okay, so I used two hands to get it all the way through, and you want to have it as far in as you can so the bag won't belly, because if it bellies, it may dent this roof panel here. So get it in as far as you can, close your little valve here, pump it up, and when you're pumping it up, it's going to start bending that door out, start prying that door out for you. And we're going to go maybe right there, about a half inch to a quarter inch right here behind the uh, plastic of it, as you can see here. Once you can see a gap inside the vehicle like that, then you know you're good. All right, and then we take our tool here with the rubber tip, and we'll just guide it right through the door frame. It won't scratch anything or damage anything. And it goes through really effortlessly. You can see it slides through without any, you know, friction or anything. And we're just going to come over here to the door handle and hook the inside door handle. Then we're going to rotate with this tool clockwise like so. And that's going to hook the handle at the end and pull it for us. Okay guys, now that I have the door open, I'll just show you with a better view what I'm doing here. Coming through with the reach tool like so, getting in behind the door handle and hooking the door handle and then pulling back on the door handle and that's it. It also has a flipper lock here that you can flip and unlock and it also has an unlock button that you can hit with your reach tool and unlock it if you wanted to. And just so you know, you can lock these with the key in it. The key fob was sitting right there in the center console. So there it is right there. And it locks and unlocks. So the key fob battery was not dead. 
All right, and as you can see, there's no scratches to the door panel from the reach tool. Doesn't leave any marks or anything. There's no scratching to the weather stripping, uh, no scratches to the paint or anything like that. And when you shut the door, it's nice and tight and flush, like it's never been broken into. And like I said, guys, the reason you wanna put your bag in through the top there is because if you put it here on the door, it'll tend to push these plastic pieces off of the door. This little trim piece is just glued on. So if you put your bag here, you run a chance of pushing that out and uh, causing some damage. All right, you guys, that's how to unlock your Bronco Sport. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop me a comment at the bottom, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye now.